Hi everybody, this is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Some of you may have heard of the game known as Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon, which operates as follows. Take any actor that you could think of, are you able to link him or her back to Kevin Bacon in six degrees or less? Uh, this is a specific manifestation of a more general phenomenon known as Six Degrees of Separation, which uh, posits that any two individuals around the world as long as they don't come from close societies, could be linked to one another in six or fewer degrees of separation. And basically what this demonstrates is that we live in a highly interconnected uh, small world. Uh, now, I've created my own version of this game, which I've coined Six Degrees of Noam Chomsky Thinking, uh, and it operates as follows. Take any calamity from the most banal and small to the grandest and most severe, are you able to, in six or fewer causal steps, uh, blame it on the U.S. military-industrial complex? So, for example, if a Amazonian frog were to die today, you need to find a way to blame the U.S. military-industrial complex in six or fewer causal steps. It's a very fun game because it allows one to indulge their delusional uh, thinking. Uh, to the max. Uh, I thought about this issue recently because I noticed that on uh, various social portals uh, some folks have been arguing that when it comes to ISIS uh, it is not the ISIS adherents that really should be blamed for what is happening rather the true culprit uh, behind the ISIS debacle is wait for it are you ready it is the U.S. military-industrial complex. The logic works as follows. Had the U.S. not invaded Iraq and ousted Saddam Hussein, then the vacuum that subsequently uh, was uh, formed uh, would not have been there, and uh, hence ISIS would not have been able to fill that void. Uh, now, of course, on some level that is absolutely true, but if we are to play this game whereby we sort of unfold historical events until we find the preferred uh, villain that we wish to hang all of our blame on, uh, then I would argue that uh, we should uh, use the uh, out of Africa theory uh, to blame the current ISIS crisis on those original uh, ancestors that uh, walked out of Africa. Had they not done so, uh, certainly the world would be very different. Uh, undoubtedly, the U.S. might have never seen the light of day. And so we need to blame those ancestors that walked out of Africa for ISIS. For if they had not done exactly what they did, none of the current ISIS crisis would likely have come to fruition. And so when it comes to the Inquisition, who do we blame? You got it. Our ancestors walking out of Africa. When it comes to the Holocaust, should we put the blame on the Nazis? Absolutely not. We put the blame squarely at the feet of those evil bastards, our ancestors, who walked out of Africa. I'm being facetious here, but I think uh, the point that I'm hopefully making uh, is that delusional thinking coupled with stifling political correctness, coupled with suicidal cultural self-loathing will result in the speedy demise of the West. Have a good day, everybody. Ciao.